uh, the founder of Intel Clinic. And uh, I would like to tell you something more today about, about the sleep. Last week, we were the most successful Kickstarter campaign. Uh, we reached our goal in less than 24 hours with our first product, which is NeuroOn, the smart sleep mask. So what we do, the NeuroOn consists of four components, a uh, soft material cover, which uh, will be washable, electronic inside, and uh, foam, which adapts to the shape of your face. Monitor your sleep, measuring your brain weights, eye movement, and muscle tension. So why we, why we do this? We keen on uh, biological signal measurements and analyzing it. So the question is how to sleep better. Uh, it is really, really important to understand what the sleep is. What's the process of sleep? If we could understand how we're sleeping, we could fix the most 90% of sleeping problem because 90% of sleeping problems is caused by our misappropriate behavior. It's only behavior problems. So only 10% are serious diseases. So the first problem is it's not enough time to sleep. We don't have time to sleep. We don't have time for our own, for our passions. It's the first problem. And second problem is inaccurate measurement of our sleep. How many of you uh, use uh, sleep measurement devices like waistband or sleep apps? OK, so do you think it is precise or not? In my opinion, it isn't precise because it's used only accelerometer. Accelerometer uh, is the device inside your smartphone or at your waistband which tracks your movement. It is impossible from a medical point of view to distinguish very precisely in which stage of sleep you are using only accelerometer. So here is our solution. Uh, NeuroOn, the first smart sleep mask. We're tracking with three sensors your brain waves, it's called EEG, eye movement, it's called EOG, and muscle tension, it's called EMG. So those are, those are signals which is required by medicine to describe your sleep very accurately. Second problem, not enough time to sleep, is polyphasic sleep. It is a really controversial topic from our backers at the Kickstarter. So the first thing is what the polyphasic sleep is. Uh, the Kickstarter right now, it's uh, $225. $225, okay. Um, I'm going to just ask a couple of questions, because this is a, an issue I, I wrestle with a lot, and I've used a lot of these different systems. So by, by using your mask, will you, is the intent to train me to sleep better, to understand what my sleep patterns are, or is it to help accompany my sleep to do these things like wake me up or lull me to sleep or that sort of thing? There are two, uh, two main kinds of uh, uh, sleep pattern and pattern of our device. Uh, the first one is monophasic sleep. So if you sleep like nine hours during the night, uh, we track your sleep and uh, we show how your sleep looks like. So you could detect like uh, little disturbances, for example, wake ups in the, in, in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And the second thing, we wake you up very gently with those lights and vibration, the most adequate moment uh, for wake up. After, so after you choose light the right sleep. time to, mm -hmm. to do that so that we feel more rested. Okay. Mood. Uh, so I was lucky enough to try one of these on uh, before coming up here. And I have to say it's really cool. It looks really cool. But um, I don't know if it's really cool to wear around someone else you're sleeping with. Um, so mm -hmm. that's my question is, uh, is this something that you, you, you think people are more likely to wear when they're sleeping alone versus sleeping with someone given that it doesn't really look that attractive. Or, or have you created a deal where you, two, you get two for a low price or something? You have to sell them in pairs. Um, yeah, we are aware that it is one of the most important uh, feature of the device to, to wearing, wearing this mask look beautiful, let's say, because a lot of our competitors uh, went bankrupt because uh, the partner 
uh, doesn't look beautiful at the, at the bed, for example. So uh, we, enable, we enable you to create like your own version of the device or an own outfit of the device. Uh, you could send us this uh, your your own pattern, and we will create uh, the device uh, fitting for you. So uh, just to understand your revenue model, you're selling the physical device, and does that include ongoing access to the website to make use of the data? And do you have any plans to charge for that service moving forward? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a hardware which connects uh, di directly with your smartphone application. Uh, we're also uh, using uh, cloud computing to, uh, to storage the data. Uh, allowing you to access from wherever uh, you want uh, to your application. And there will be also um, a developer version of the device uh, where you could access the raw data and uh, one more time analyzes everything uh, on the cloud. Cool, thank you. So the key uh, functional advantage is for it to wake you up at an optimal point in time during a specified time range, right? Yeah, the first thing is wake you up at the most uh, specific moment, and the second thing is create a unique sleep schedule for you. Because if you, if you would like to sleep polyphasically, there are a lot of different type of polyphasic sleep. So, so, so it does require flexibility on the user side in terms of when exactly they wake up. And my question then is, don't a lot of users, I mean, for me, even waking up 10 minutes late would, you know, is sometimes catastrophic. How, how, much, uh, how important is it that users have that flexibility? Yeah, it's like it's another way. Uh, you give us your requirements uh, of your of your day uh, when you work, when you uh, when you are resting, and on that basis, we're creating a, a sleep schedule for you to fit your uh, requirements. So now, instead of saying I need to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning, yeah. you need to say I need to w be awake by seven o'clock, and the system will figure out when the optimum time yeah. is to wake me. That's okay. Correct. Excellent. Well, that is the time we have. But thank you very much thank for you your very presentation. Much. Good luck on your Kickstarter campaign. Thank you. And um, we look forward to seeing more from you. So those are the four companies in this set. We will uh, take a break at this point for about 15 minutes and come reset our stage and come back to see four more companies in the next segment. I want to thank our judges for this section. Uh, thank you very much for your good questions. And uh, I know you're scoring. We really appreciate you all being here with us at the web. And we'll see you back here in about 15 minutes as we reset the stage. Thank you. <laughs>